Hey, hey everybody, Jason here and I'm back with a quick video for you guys today. It's been a while since I've been making consistent content. A lot's been going on at work. If you've never been to my channel before, this is pretty much just my outlet for having fun, making videos about all the things that I enjoy, 3D printing, manufacturing. I have another RC car channel, so maybe you're here from there and if you are, welcome. This is more just about my nerdy outlook on life. I started a small manufacturing company after working in the direct marketing industry for almost 15 years and I've had a blast with my new business. We started manufacturing products in Asia because that's where the vast majority of the products in my industry come from. And it, they made a, a quality product but there were just too many issues logistically and there was some huge cultural and language barriers and we decided to move everything to America. And so we started, we moved the actual production of making our products themselves here to America, or at least the, the vast majority of them. And the next step was to actually start making the tooling that we needed to make our products here in America. And so we ended up going down, we, we, we went down some roads that I really wish I wouldn't have, you know, hindsight is 2020. We ended up trying to buy a Tormach PCNC 770 to do the job to make some tools we needed. And we just didn't have any luck. In the future, I'll, I'll try to shoot some videos and elaborate more on that story, but I'm really excited now because we finally took delivery of our Haas Mini Mill. In fact, we have a Haas Super Mini Mill too. I chose the Haas for a variety of different reasons. We'll cover some of those in this video and some of those in upcoming future videos. But here's the gist. The Super Mini Mill 2 has pretty large travels for a considerably smaller footprint than say a VF1 or a VF2 or some of the larger vertical machining centers. It's 20 inches on the X, 16 inches in the Y, and 14 inches in the Z. And that's more than adequate for what we need to do. It has really fast rapids. It either has 12 or 1400 inch per minute rapids and a 15 horsepower, 10,000 RPM spindle, and that's exactly what we really were looking for. In fact, the Tormach that we had already purchased several months back had a 10,000 RPM spindle, so, so we're pretty pumped. In this video, I'm just gonna take a, a few seconds, show you guys some of the footage of the machinery company bringing it in. It was brought in by some really nice guys from Eagle Machinery Movers. Uh, the, we, could've, we could've organized it a little bit better. They didn't bring any, any uh, plywood or masonite or anything to put down and so it ended up popping up a few tiles on our VCT floor that we had just installed but it's no big deal we'll put some new tiles in when we get some time but anyways let's let's take it away this is this is Eagle Machinery Movers delivering our brand new Haas SM2 and then I'll take a few minutes pop some stuff out of the box and I'll start putting on there's some shelving that goes on the side of the machine they call that the uh, the convenience package which comes included in the price of the mill so Come on over, let's take a look at, at us uh, receiving our new Haas Super Mini Mill.
Okay, that's about it, you guys. I appreciate you guys taking a few minutes and watching. We are super pumped. We are, I'm super excited to begin the journey. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little intimidated, I'm a little scared, but we are super excited to begin the journey of bringing more of our production, more of our tool manufacturing, everything right back here into California. We had really good quality components and tooling coming out of Asia, but just so many back and forth, language issues, cultural issues. They, I won't bore you guys with the details. We're just super happy to be bringing everything back to California. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, our super mini mill two just arrived. I got the tool tray, the convenience package set up real quick. We unbolted the control from this shipping bracket so we can get this thing open. And you can see that it swivels just fine. Here's the door. The handle was actually on the inside of the door. You just flip it around. You have to unbolt the shipping bracket from up here. And then you open this thing up. And it's funny, Oxnard is two hours from where I live. So I don't know, I'm surprised that they actually covered it in this, this shipping grease or the shipping protection. I don't know if it's cosmoline or exactly what it is, but it's green and it's gonna have to be cleaned up, so probably time to get busy. But I'm super pumped that our new machine is here, and it's almost time to start making stuff. This is how you know when you're committed to your new equipment. <laughs> the sad part is, this protective coating is still on my radio. On my M12, it still has that, so maybe when I get to the RC track, Tomorrow, I'll take this off my M12 too.